important was the SEC and what they decided today when it comes to uh, Ether, when it comes to utility tokens, to what you do? And when you take a look at the 10% pop in Ether or the 6% pop in Bitcoin on the news, do you think, I would think that the cryptos would be up even more based on that. Yeah, I think people generally had a sense of what the feeling was with Ethereum. I think there was some still murkiness around that. Um, so I, I think we've been in kind of this regulatory, this regulatory uncertainty for six months now. And this is just one piece of a broader picture, right? There's still the custodian question. There's still uh, questions around exchange traded products, which really need to be answered before uh, more institutions feel more comfortable and get into the space in an, in an easier way. And exchange traded products are something that we're really focused on as, as a big catalyst in the space over the next year or two. Hey, Chris, so you have this basket of 20 currencies. How do you decide what to put in that basket? Is it simply just market cap weighted? Yeah. And over the, do you see that changing over time? Yeah, we wanted to create something that was future proof. So there is a market cap weight, but it's a 90 day average to really smooth the volatility. You see some of these coins explode in value and jump into the top 20. They really need to sustain that value to be to prove themselves, I guess, as a, as a real true investment. So it needs to meet that threshold to stay in the portfolio. We also have controls around liquidity measures. It has to meet certain thresholds and be available on multiple exchanges that are available here in the United States. And actually custody is a, is a big piece for us. We, we won't hold a coin that you can't hold in cold storage. So, uh, you know, funds, we want to make sure that, that people are able to store these in the safest way. As you c constantly hear about these exchange hacks, uh, we don't want our clients or, or the index to really be taking that risk. So you started... Uh so I hope you guys took a look at that portfolio and um, uh, I, I do have some comments. So they basically have 40% Bitcoin, 20% Ethereum. For me personally, I would rather be a little more balanced, maybe 35% uh, Bitcoin, 25% Ethereum or just more Ethereum in my personal opinion. But no matter what, um, I do agree with him that we're getting closer and closer to the bottom. So um, Definitely, I feel like it's a good time to buy. But like I said, I would not be surprised if Bitcoin does break the resistance and goes below 6,000 or 5,000. So you do have to have capital. If you were going to invest $100 into Bitcoin, just put in maybe 50 right now or 25 and then have that remaining 75 ready to go if the dip hits. If it doesn't hit, doesn't matter. You got into crypto at a great price and just dollar cost average, whether it goes up or down. Um, and I do have videos on my channel if you do want to educate yourself about dollar cost averaging and kind of learn more about that. Um, but I don't necessarily have any strong comments against his crypto portfolio. I do like it. It does have a lot of uh, Coinbase coins that you know I've invested in. And uh, that like other section that he had 19%, I, I'm hoping that it's mostly top 10, top 20 coins. Uh, just I don't like coins that are under a billion market cap because I just feel like they're easier to influence and manipulate. Um, but like I said, if you're dealing with coins that are on also U.S. exchanges, there's a lot more regulation on the U.S., so it just makes it a safer token. But let me know your thoughts about this, and I will talk to you guys soon.